hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so to start off i'm going to be applying a matte peel off base coat for today but i did want to go ahead and show you guys the state of my nails so in my last video i did say that my nails were doing a lot better but as you can see my ring finger is definitely looking a little bit weird and if you don't know what's going on your guess is honestly as good as mine because i also don't know but anyways to create this peel off base coat i will be using some model ones matte top coat and before i apply the top coat i am going to go in with a little bit of cuticle oil and because the matte peel off base coat does work very well i I'm gonna make sure to rub that oil in really good to prevent it from popping off super easily. Once I have that first layer of matte top coat applied, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 30 seconds. And because I do normally do acrylic in the majority of my videos, I am going to go in with a second layer. I find that this just helps to further prevent that acrylic from sticking to my nail beds. Here I already have all of my nail tips sized out and I am going to go in with a number three for both my middle finger and my ring finger. And I'm just going to go ahead and cure those on with some matte top coat. Before I go ahead and cut down those tips, I am going to go in with one more layer of matte top coat. So as I mentioned previously, I am using a number three for my middle finger and my ring finger. So I do have to cut down a little bit of those tips on the sides. At some point, I will definitely go ahead and just buy some more tips, but I do like to sort of use it as best as I can without like feeling like I'm just wasting anything. So I'm definitely just gonna go ahead and make it work for the next few uploads until I finally decide to buy some more. After cutting those tips down, I'm going to go in with my 80-80 grit nail file just to make sure everything is nice and flush. And I am also going ahead and bringing in those number threes just to make sure they match the actual size of my nails. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and lightly shape up the free edge. So with our tips nice and shaped up, we are finally ready for the application process. For today, we're going to be going in with some regular clear acrylic. This is the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. What I will say is that straight off the bat, I definitely had a lot of issues with like these really tiny bubbles forming within the acrylic that I couldn't necessarily get rid of. And because I do use Mia Secret Acrylic in pretty much all of my videos, it wasn't necessarily surprising, but it was kind of annoying because for today's design, obviously I want something that's a little bit more clear. So with that being said, I definitely do recommend using a different acrylic. I have used not too many brands of acrylic, but I do really like Young Nails Acrylic and I have tried their clear and it's slightly more clear and it does work a little bit better. It doesn't dry as fast. So yeah, I would definitely recommend trying that one instead. I will leave both of them linked down below just in case, you know, you don't have the funds to purchase Young Nails Acrylic because they are slightly more expensive. But if you do have the freedom to choose, I will leave both of them listed down below in my description box, along with all of the other frequently used products that I use in all of my other videos. 
So while we're here, I did want to mention a few things while we're doing this application. So I wanted to briefly mention that I will be doing a Q&A pretty soon on the channel. So probably within my next few uploads that will be coming for you guys. And of course, I'm open to you guys asking me questions on this video or any of my other videos if you feel free to. But for those who don't know, I do have a designated post on my community tab for anyone who has any questions that they want to ask me. I would prefer for the questions to be asked over there just so that I can have a good idea of what questions you guys want answered exactly however it doesn't really matter you can comment under this video you can comment under any other videos that i have already posted i'm going to be able to see all of them but i do kind of want them to be in a generalized area but yeah if you do have any questions feel free to ask me because i will be doing a q a very soon okay and so that is that on that um the other thing that i did want to mention is that i am definitely keeping your guys's recommendations or video ideas saved i'm definitely making sure to keep those in mind i have not forgotten i do just kind of want to get out a few different videos before i start really knocking out those recommendations so far i have been recommended to do a video on the moon crescent shape i've also been asked to do a mother's day set which i'm definitely going to be doing and like a month ago i was recommended to do a tribal set based on a set that i had already posted on my instagram and like i said in the post that i made i wasn't able to record it so i'm definitely still planning on doing that but i was waiting until i started summer nails and as you guys know i am kind of focusing on my spring nails for the moment so yeah definitely going to be saving those recommendations for a little bit later until i get out some of these spring sets but to be honest i may just go ahead and start throwing them in slowly because i don't want to wait until after spring nails because it kind of would just feel like I'm stalling, so I might just go ahead and mix them in because it really doesn't matter the order that I bring them out. But with that out of the way, those are just a few of the things that I wanted to talk about very briefly. Um, so yeah, Q&A is coming and I have not forgotten about your recommendations. So for my pinky nail, I actually did go in with a little bit of nude at the base of my nail because as you guys know, my pinky nail has kind of just been struggling the past few months, but I didn't want my broken nail to compromise the rest of the set. So I did go ahead and with a little bit of nude just to make it blend in a little bit better. I didn't really feel like it was necessary to do to the rest of my nails, but I think if you want it to blend in a little bit better, I would definitely go in with a thin layer of nude on the rest of your nails just to make sure everything looks a little bit more unified. But to be honest, I didn't really mind too much and yeah that's basically what i went ahead and did and so now i'll just go ahead and be quiet and let you guys enjoy the rest of this application
So here's what the application is looking like and now we are ready to shape and file these nails. First, I'm going to be going in with my 80-80 grit nail file just to file the sidewalls and the undersides of my nails. To seal my cuticles, I'm going to be going in with my medium sanding band. I decided to go for my medium sanding band today because my cuticles honestly weren't too bad and because my cuticle application is normally pretty smooth, I don't have to do too much work. Now I'm going to be taking the same 80-80 grit nail file just to smooth out the surface.
here I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the angle that I hold my nail file at just to create that nice C curve shape. I feel like this is definitely a better and easier method um, to achieve the moon crescent shape. I would say that creating that crescent shape with a nail drill is definitely something more suitable for advanced um, nail enthusiasts or nail techs out there. But if you are interested in something that's a little bit more easier, this is definitely the method to go for. And now I'm gonna be going in with my coarse carbide bit just to reinforce that C-curve. This step definitely helps to enhance the moon crescent shape because you will be able to see more of that curve. And I feel like this also just helps to make the nail look a little bit more thin and crisp. What I will say is that if this is your first time ever trying this or you are still a beginner to doing uh, this type of method, definitely make sure that you have a good handle on the nail drill as well as your nail. I think it's necessary that you have some sort of fulcrum or stable stabilizing system in every step of the entire process. Lastly, before we go ahead and jump into the nail art, I'm gonna go ahead and use my mini buffer just to smooth out the surface. And before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the nails off with some isopropyl alcohol. To start us off, I'm going to be going in with a layer of top coat. Of course, you could add a final layer of top coat after you do the droplets, but I prefer to do it before because I wanted it to look super 3D and I wanted it to really stand out. After wiping off the sides, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for a full 60 seconds. Here I'm just going in with a layer of top coat underneath the nails. I feel like this kind of helped to get rid of some of that cloudiness caused by the acrylic, but to be honest, a lot of that cloudiness was still there because there's not really much you can do since it's already like set in stone. So yeah, this is kind of optional, but I did do it just because it made me feel a little bit better. But after I finish applying that layer of clear, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for a full 60 seconds. So now we are on to the fun part. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a dotting tool and some of that clear top coat, and I'm just creating some random squiggles underneath to create that water-like effect 
I guess. And I feel like I mentioned this a lot in my videos, but of course, like this is kind of like just your time to do whatever you want. Like it doesn't have to look exactly the way that you see it here. I have seen a few variations of this set where they just did like little droplets. And I think that that also looks amazing as well. However, use your own discretion and do whatever you feel like doing. Like this is definitely your time to just have fun. So I did go ahead and do the squiggles a few different times. So I did about like two or three layers. All of the squiggle patterns are a little bit different from each other but now i'm gonna go ahead and take some clear just to create the droplets on the top just going ahead and creating those shapes all of the shapes are different sizes and once i have them applied i am going to go ahead and tip my hand over upside down for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds and then i'm going to go ahead and cure for a full 60. what i will say in order for this to look a little bit more natural i would definitely recommend overlapping some of those circles that you see on the bottom with some that you see on top just so that it looks like it has a little bit of depth and because this is supposed to look like water i would definitely recommend being very random. So with these four nails done, I'm going to go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera. And here is what it looks like. It looks super nice and bubbly. So I really wanted to show you guys this set underneath this lighting because this is where you can really see a lot of those tiny bubbles that I couldn't really get rid of. I wasn't too upset because from this angle, it kind of just looks like glitter or like, you know how like when you're running water and you see a lot of those tiny bubbles, that's kind of what it looks like. So I wasn't too upset. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this set with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really, really, really love how these came out. I've been like dying to do something that was water related, especially since it is springtime. And you know, some of you guys are probably getting a lot of rain. I know that in my region, I've been getting a little bit more rain than usual. And that's always exciting. I love the change in the seasons and the weather. But of course, let me know what you guys think of this set. Would you wear it for this spring? Would you wear it for the summer? Because I know it also rains in the summer as well well i definitely think that i want to retry this set using some young nails clear acrylic or even just a more clear acrylic in general but overall i think it came out very nicely as i mentioned earlier the q a and all of the requested videos are coming soon so definitely stay tuned for that but as always i want to say thank you guys so so much for tuning in today and i'll see you guys in the next one